We were really proud of the Far Cry 2 map editor. Um, we worked uh, with all the tools that uh, the, the production team has and we really tried to simplify them and make them really uh, powerful and accessible for the user to create his map. Um, you can have terrain tools that are, are really effective. You can create mountains, rivers really easily. Yeah, we have an erosion tool that we are really proud of. Uh, even when the programmer uh, designed that tool, uh, the rest of the production wanted that tool in their tools because it was not uh, there at first. It was just on the map editor. Uh, we also have like a noise tool that makes the terrain really uh, natural. Um, uh, if you combine that with all the collection system we have, is the collection system is uh, how you create really natural and really realistic biome, such as the jungle, savanna, uh, or a mountain um, kind of look. So uh, we have algorithms for uh, planting trees and then bushes and grass that really fits in the, the Africa biomes. So the map editor for Far Cry 2 uh, really uh, gives uh, the, the user the possibility to make all four game modes from the multiplayer. Uh, so a player, a user can do a dead match, a map, he can do a team dead match, uh, capture the diamond or an uprising map, or he can do a map that combines those two or three or four modes at the same time, like the same that we do with the retail maps. Uh, he has, he has uh, all, almost all the assets that we use on the multiplayer and the single player, so he can have objects uh, such as like uh, architectural uh, objects, houses, uh, church, uh, vehicles. You can have dynamic objects like uh, explosive barrel, the propane tank that really sets the grass on fire. So all those cool elements that we have in the game, even either in single player or multiplayer, he can have it in his own map. Um, after that, when he creates his map, he can either share it with the community by uploading his map and then other players can download it and host a match in them in, in that map and play with the, their friends or the user can host a match with his own map and what it will uh, do is when the other player connects to his game uh, they will automatically download it on their own uh, platform either console, uh, console as PS3 or 360 or on the PC so we have a, a really cool uh, sharing tool in Far Cry 2. So the user that creates this map will be uh, able to upload it to Ubisoft server. And then when the other players play in that map, they can rate it. So it will be really easy for uh, players to find cool maps that are really good for a specific mode or for a specific number of player that the player wants to uh, go in and try. When we started to create the Far Cry 2 map editor, we really wanted the community to have good maps and working maps. That's something that sometimes in other editors or in other games, uh, you can download the tons of maps that you cannot play with. So we really work hard on, on, on building good validation tools. So for example, if you want to create a deathmatch uh, map or uh, capture the diamond maps, which is like a kind of capture the flag with a few flavor. Um, there are validation uh, sets that work for each game mode. So if you are building a deathmatch map, then uh, the engine will make sure that you have at least uh, the good number of spawn point for a 16 player uh, match. If you have a capture the diamond map, uh, then the, the tool will make sure that you have at least uh, two flag station and 16 spawn point for UFLL and 16 spawn point for the APR and make sure that your map is working fine. Uh, so if there is like a spawn point that is in the ground because you work on the, the tool terrain, uh, that, uh, you worked on the terrain after you spawn your points, then it will give you an error and will really bring you straight to that specific spawn point that is like across the ground. So you don't have the surprise when you play the map that you spawn and you like fall in, in nowhere. So this is really something that the tool gives you exactly the right messages to know, okay, I'm missing this. And then after that, when I fix that problem, then my map will be good for playing in that mode. What I'm really excited about is really to see the variety that we can get. 
Uh, we, Far Cry 2 is really a, a game that is based in, in Africa. Some urban, but it's mostly nature. Uh, desert, savanna, jungle, uh, biomes. But when you look at what uh, the players can do with all the assets, because we have thousands of objects on that map editor, a uh, player can do anything. I've seen like subway station, we've seen port, we've seen uh, construction site based on the assets that we have in the game that are really not related to those subjects. So it's really good and I'm eager to see everything we'll find in that, that map editor. It's really cool.